everyone, you're watching Maddie's Moments, and I'm here with... Maddie's Moments, huh? Sean Porter. Showtime, Sean Porter. Amazing professional boxer. How are you? Oh, I'm doing just fine. How are you? <laughs> I'm well, thanks. Good. Today we're here at the second celebrity poker tournament. Are you going to play some poker tonight? I am. I just got my chips, put them in my pocket, and we'll see how long it takes for me to lose them. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been a poker player for a while? Uh... I guess you could say that. Uh, I live in Las Vegas, but I never go down to the casinos or anything like that. But I'm, I'm more experienced on my iPad yeah, yeah. where it's not real. So <laughs> I got a little bit of confidence in me. <laughs> awesome. And this event supports Life Driven. Why yeah. is this event so special to you? I'm, I'm like, uh, you know, I'm here also for Brandon's birthday, but to see where the money is going, it's going towards a good cause. It's not going towards him getting a new car or anything like that. So it's it's awesome to see that even though he uh, wants to celebrate his own birthday, he's still willing to give back. And it, it just lets me know that that's something that I should do. I should always be willing to give back no matter when, no matter where, you know. So I'm here also to support the uh, Life Driven Foundation as well and uh, hopefully get involved with a lot more of their, um, their events in the future. Yeah, it's so nice of you to be here. Thanks for your support. How do you know Brandon? Uh, I uh, I signed with the uh, Al Heyman um, Promotions, uh, uh, the company, uh, what, six or seven years ago, it seems like, maybe. And uh, I met him just as I came on board, and I've known him and his family, his, my, his dad and his brother ever since. And uh, I, I would say over the years, we've grown quite close, you know, so... He, uh, he sent me a, a email and a text message letting me know about this event. And uh, I saw him again this weekend, and he, he didn't beg me to come, but he, he made sure he, me he mentioned it more than once to me to make sure he, I, I got here. So I'm, uh, I'm always happy to support anything he's got going on. Yeah, and he's going to have a great time tonight. Yeah. So boxing, what's next for you? I'm not sure yet. Uh, I stay in the gym. Uh, I guess you can call me a gym rat, and uh, I just stay ready for whatever they got coming my way. So we, we, our, our, um, our goal is to get a fight before the end of this year, and right now we're look, we're aiming towards November, and uh, hopefully we can make that happen. But uh, to be determined when and where and who. So we'll see. Who are some of your boxing inspirations? Uh, my biggest boxing inspiration is marvelous Marvin Hagler. Uh, I know his, his his journey to the top was not easy and neither has mine. Uh, I, I learned about him when I was very young, maybe 11 or 12 years old, and I just really liked his style. I liked his, his demeanor, everything about him, you know? And uh, so for, my, from a, for a long time, I've been a fan of his and tried to emulate my style even after his as well. And, and it's, it's so great to see him. Uh, again, I, I learned about him when I was 10 or 11 years old. And to see him uh, two or three years ago say that I'm one of his favorite fighters right now oh, yeah. is very humbling and something I would have never even dreamt would ever happen, you know. So it just confirms that I'm on the right path and I'm trying to do the right things with what I do. <laughs> yeah, and you're an inspiration to so many people. I'm quite curious, what's your mindset like in the ring when the match is happening? Uh, the mindset, honestly, is just... 100% on winning. Uh, it's not on something hurting. It's not on being tired or anything like that. My um, my number one job in there is to win. And uh, I think some guys may have, have different mindsets of maybe hurting the other guy or anything like that. I don't care how I get the job done. If it happens that you get hurt, that's how it goes. It's the sport that we're in, but my number one focus is winning. So I do whatever it takes to win. You want that W? Yes, ma'am. I, <laughs> I, I love having my hand raised. Uh, for me, that's that's uh, that's my high is yeah. having my hand raised. You know, so. <laughs> and there must be so much adrenaline too. Oh, oh yes, oh yes, a lot of adrenaline during the fight, and uh, you know, a, a little bit more uh, after the fight. And, it's funny to, to watch me come down. It usually takes me about three days to come down after a fight. Wow. And when I do, I'm drained. <laughs> <laughs> and you need something to do, something nice to unwind. What would you do? Um, usually, I just try to get away. Uh, I, I do the staycations a lot. You know, I, Even though I, I live in Las Vegas, I like to go to, to the hotel rooms, maybe a, the, the casinos, the MGM or something like that, oh, yeah. and really just be alone and, and unwind. You know, So that, 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 for me, is what gets the job Done. Speaking of casinos, sounds like you're going to win tonight. Oh, man, I would <laughs> well love prepared. to. I, I just want to represent. You know, I want to represent. Uh, everybody knows me for being Showtime, a great boxer. I want them to know me for being Showtime, a, a great winner or whatever I'm doing. You know, so. Yes. Yeah. Good luck on the W Thank tonight. You. Good to see you, Maddie. <laughs> you too. Thank you. You're watching Maddie's Moments, and let's be your moment too. Bye.